Hello there and welcome back to Nerdier Things Now. I am Sir Nerdalot. Starting out, we recently got a trailer for Bill and Ted Face the Music, but there is a huge hole in this movie and that hole cannot be filled by anything. That hole is Rufus, played by George Carlin. But Judd Apatow told the Boston Globe, I'm about to start work with my partner on a documentary about George Carlin, so I'm looking forward to watching a lot of Carlin interviews and specials. I think his work turned out to be very prophetic. So we won't be getting George Carlin as Rufus in the next Bill and Ted movie, but we will be getting a documentary about him. And I think Judd Apatow is the perfect person to head this project. I really love some of Carlin's roles, and most of them come via Kevin Smith, like Cardinal Glick and Dogma, and Bart Trinke in the adorable, but for some reason much disliked Jersey Girl. I really don't understand the hate for that movie. So, in the meantime, don't sweat the petty things, and don't pet the sweaty things. Next, Bruce Campbell confirmed a fourth Evil Dead movie is in the works. Not a remake, but a continuation from Army of Darkness. Part 4 will be titled Evil Dead Now, and they've already got a writer-director in Lee Cronin, who was handpicked by Sam Raimi himself. It looks like Campbell will mainly be behind the camera, and here is what he had to say about the movie. From this point forward, they kind of have to stand on their own, which is fine and liberating. You could have different heroes, different heroines in this case. This one's going to be a little more dynamic. We just want to keep the series current, and the mantra, really, is that our heroes and heroines are just regular people. That's what we're going to continue. So, we are probably getting a female lead, that's what it sounded like, and I for one know there is going to be some major pushback on that, and there really already is. But I for one am totally fine with it, and think it's pretty groovy. Next, we have a follow-up to a video I released a while ago about the Blumhouse-produced Dracula. Karen Kusama commented on her adaptation saying, It's a fairly faithful adaptation of Bram Stoker's novel. I think something that gets overlooked in the adaptations of Dracula in the past is the idea of multiple voices. In fact, the book is filled with different point of views. And the one point of view we don't get access to is Dracula himself. So I would just say in some respect, this is going to be an adaptation called Dracula, but it's perhaps not the same kind of romantic hero that we've seen in the past, in past interpretations of Dracula. So just like the Invisible Man, we can expect the new Dracula to be different from all other adaptations. But it sounds like Kasama wants to still be faithful to the Bram Stoker's novel. This should be interesting to follow and I'm really excited to find out more. So I really like ending on a really positive note and hearing from Nick Kondo that he has started work on Into the Spider-Verse Part 2 is super exciting. Phil Lord also spoke out saying, all I can say is, worked on it all day yesterday and had a ball. Watching this got me pumped for all the surprises in store for 2022. Specific details are being kept under wraps. However, it is expected the core cast will return with Shamik Moore's Miles Morales leading the squad of Spideys. I'm super hyped to hear they have started work on the sequel. Into the Spider-Verse is my favorite Spidey movie and I cannot wait for October 2022. That's all for today. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. Share your thoughts with a comment. Share on Twitter or whatever. And may the force be with you always. Peace.